welcome back it's me again so today we're going to be learning how to make cucumber rice sauce i'm telling you this sauce is so yummy you will thank me later so if you're wondering what is this old madness about cucumber cucumber stew cucumber this cucumber that melon that and melon this so a bit of background story so in nigeria right now there is a scarcity of tomatoes right so a lot of people are coming up with ideas of alternatives to use instead of tomatoes okay so here's the reason people are making cucumber sauce yellow melon sauce you know all of these things they're coming up with just to replace tomatoes and i think it's a genius idea so i also we're going to be doing this here as well so i'm blending together scotch bonnet cucumber red bell pepper and onions okay i'll just blend it roughly or chop it roughly so time to cook it so i've got my olive oil in there and some freshly nice sliced onions i know i said the last time that my fry pan <laughs> wouldn't look like this the next time i'm cooking but sorry it wasn't delivered yesterday and i had to give you another video today okay so i had to repeat the same fry pan but I promise you hopefully it gets delivered soon okay i do not have to use this fry pan for you any longer but hey let's get frying so oil with uh, sliced onions and obviously pour the paste into it okay and just leave it to fry for a while okay just leave it to fry just for a few minutes now when i tested this before adding anything it has a little bit of sweetness in it and i know it's because our bell pepper in the uk is sweet rather than hot so if you're in nigeria rather than use bell pepper just use the cucumber onions okay and your scotch bonnet with tin tomatoes or tomato paste or tomato puree okay so moving on so um just leave that to fry for a while like i said earlier so i'm going to season this with curry with thyme with billion powder i'm not using billion cube i know you're waiting for you're always waiting for the mixture of my billion powder and billion cube mm, no add our garlic powder or garlic granules and then ginger powder as well and then just leave it to fry so while we're waiting for this to fry can i please ask you to like share and comment on this video i would really appreciate it now the reason i'm using the dried version of ginger and garlic rather than the wet version is because i want the sauce to be properly fried i'm just gonna add my beef in okay and then just leave it okay to marry into each other properly get the sauce into i promise you this is so yummy you won't even know that there's no tomatoes in this sauce i'm telling you it tastes as good if not even better i really appreciate it if you're still watching at this point so please remember to like to share to comment and subscribe thank you for sharing your time with me today hope to see you soon bye